गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू फॉर दिस एनपीटल कोर्स ऑन अर्थक्वेक जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ बिफोर आई इंट्रोड्यूस अबाउट दिस कोर्स आई एम प्रोफेसर बी के महेश्वरी आई एम ए फैकल्टी मेंबर एट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ अर्थक्वेक इंजीनियरिंग आई आई टी रुड़की माई जर्नी फॉर अर्थक्वेक जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग स्टार्टेड वैन आई ज्वाइन एज ए मास्टर स्टूडेंट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एज ए मास्टर इन सोल डायनेमिक्स एंड आफ्टर दैट लाइक आई कंटिन्यू टू वर्क ऑन दिस एरिया during my phd which is from saitama university japan uh, in 1997 my phd was on pile foundation that is an area related to soil stress interaction later i work continue to work on soil stress interaction at uh, as a post doctorate fellow at uh, washington university in st louis usa finally i joined uh, this department of earth engineering as a faculty member in 2004 now what we are going to talk about in this course before let's understand why this course is important you know our country is seismically very active and particularly during the earthquake there are some geotechnical issues which are not dealt using like you no know, static analysis or what you have under uh, study at undergraduate level so it is important that we we uh, study this course uh, so can we can deal for the design of foundation and structures during the earthquakes uh the proposed syllabus on this subject is very comprehensive and uh it will be the the, the students which is pursuing b btech or civil engineering or me mtech or phd in geotechnical engineering or structural engineering can be part of this course this course will go very long way the faculty members teaching these students and practicing engineers dealing with geotechnical issues during earthquakes are the target audience for this course as for the pre request is concerned uh you know that uh, soil mechanics or geotechnical engineering is a pre request for this course however i understand that uh, the, because this course will be taken by many of the practicing engineers who have uh, uh, left their studies long back so i'll give you some basic background for geotechnical engineering also and uh, this course is going to start from very basics and then we are going to talk about little uh, more complicated things as for the course contents are concerned first of it is uh, like, as i mentioned it is a very uh, like a uh, uh, comprehensive course and what we are going to do, do in this course we are going to apply the principle of earthquake engineering to soil mechanics and geotechnical engineering so first of all we are going to discuss what are the damages due uh, geotechnical uh, damages during the past earthquakes so you will see some examples and we are going to talk about the uh, different geo hazards including liquefactions and then uh, landslides and tsunami also then in, in this course we are going to talk about little bit of what is earthquake engineering seismology wave propagation strong ground motion and uh, different types of damping two most important topic uh, which is first on dynamic soil properties and the second one is on liquefaction this will be covered during this course in very much detail the course will also cover uh, ground response analysis and local site effects then we are also going because particularly in the hilly areas for the landslide slope instability is important so we are going to talk about slope instability landslide and retaining walls that will be also taught the, during this course finally suppose if the soil is erratic and there is a problematic so what could be the remedial me measures so we are going to talk about soil improvement for seismic mitigation this will be also covered as you know this course will consist of 12 weeks which is uh, have 30 contact hours so it will be delivered in 60 lectures and these 60 lectures are divided into six module each module is roughly consist of 10 lectures in the first module we are going to talk about introduction seismology strong ground motion seismic uh, hazard analysis and wave propagation in the second module we are going to talk about dynamic soil properties and third will be consist of ground response analysis and local site effects then in the fourth module which is exclusively on liquefaction of soils and the fifth one will be on stability of slopes and retaining walls and finally we are going to talk about soil improvement how we can improve the soil for uh, earthquake purpose uh, though i'll give you a list of references which can be used for this course and two references one is a uh, book uh, on soil dynamics by professor samshir prakash and the second which is uh, uh, the book on geotechnical earthquake engineering by steven kramers they will be used but most of the contents will be coming from the second reference that is book by steven kramers on geotechnical earthquake engineering and i'm sure that you will find this course very interesting 
uh, it is not going to be a difficult course only my submission that you attend all the lectures carefully and uh, at the end it will be very useful for your career thank you very much i wish you all the best for this course thank you